Use the following diagram to illustrate the impact of a specific excise tax on cigarettes on the equilibrium price and quantity. Remember to label your diagram. So we have to show the effect of a tax, a specific tax, on the price and quantity of cigarettes. So we have to illustrate. We're in the market for goods and services. We're working with the product, so it's price and quantity, demand for cigarettes, and the supply. Where the two meet, where the demand and supply curves intersect, that is where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supply, we have the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity. You could have, there's no prescriptions, you could have said, okay, let's take a price of 30 and make the quantity 100. So you don't have to use symbols, you can use numbers instead. Right, this is where we start. Now, given the demand and supply for cigarettes, what is the impact of a specific tax? Yes, it influences the supply of cigarettes. It supply curve shifts upwards. That's the effect of the of the increase in or the tax on the cigarettes. And we have a new equilibrium at a higher price, making a price of 35, and equilibrium quantity decreases, say, to 90. Have we answered the question? Yes? Let's have a look. The effect on a product, cigarettes, we're in the product market, market for goods and services, price and quantity. We started with the initial equilibrium. We've shown the effect of taxes on supply, supply curve shipped upwards, and importantly, as in terms of the question, what is the effect on price? Prices increase, quantity demanded decreased. 